OpenAI finally listened. They're bringing back all of the old models within ChatGPT. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. But first, the post from Sam Altman. He goes, updates to ChatGPT. You can now choose between auto, fast, and thinking for GPT-5. Most users will want auto, but the additional control will be useful for some people. Rate limits are now 3,000 messages per week with GPT-5 thinking, and then extra capacity on GPT-5 thinking mini after that limit. That's a much higher message limit than I initially thought we got, so that is pretty good. And then context limit for GPT-5 thinking is 196,000 tokens, but they may have to update rate limits over time depending on overall usage. 4.0 is back in the model picker for all paid users by default. If we ever do depreciate it, they will give plenty of notice. Paid users also now have a show additional models toggle in ChatGPT web settings, which will add models like O3, 4.1, and GPT-5 Thinking Mini. Now, this is an interesting sentence. 4.5 is only available to pro users because it costs a lot of GPUs. So plus plan users will not have access to 4.5. I know some users will be disappointed in that. And lastly, we are working on an update to GPT-5's personality, which should feel warmer than the current personality, but not as annoying. People found GPT-4 Omni very annoying, very verbose. So they're working on an update for GPT-5. However, one learning for us from the past few days is we really just need to get to a world with more peer user customization of model personality. So within ChatGPT, in the bottom left corner on your profile, click it, then click settings. Under general, you're going to want to turn on show additional models. It's this toggle right here. Then if you click on new chat and click on the model selector, we see all the new options. Auto decides how long to think. Fast, instant answers. Thinking mini, this thinks quickly. And then thinking, thinks longer for better answers. If you have the pro plan at $200 per month, you get the GPT-5 Pro model, which is research grade intelligence. And then now you see legacy models. And there we go, GPT-4 Omni, a lot of people's past favorite. That was the default for ChatGPT for free users. GPT 4.1, we have O3, which is currently my favorite model, and then O4 Mini. So clicking on O3, you still have all the options. I can go to more, toggle on web search, and get responses like I got in the past. If you're looking for some plug and play but fully customized AI agents, check out youraiagent.com. I'm going to leave a link to a full playlist of all the AI agents we currently have available. This is a video playlist on YouTube, so you can get familiar with what we have to offer. I'd love for you to come check us out. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.